Hello and welcome again. The IB Biology exam for May 2021. It's happening next week on Wednesday the 19th of May in the morning. HL students, you'll be taking paper one, which is the multiple choice, one hour long. And SL students, you'll be taking your paper one, 45 minutes long, 30 multiple choice questions. Then you'll have a short break and you'll move into your paper two. For SL students, you will have one hour and 15 minutes to complete 50 marks worth of work, short answer questions, and one extended response item. HL students, you will have two hours and 15 minutes to work on your paper two. And of course, in 2021, there will be no testing of paper three. Now, as you get ready for this exam, most other exams are finished. There's Latin on Monday. There's nature of science happening also, which no biology students would be taking the nature of science. There's psychology, of course, on Wednesday and French on Thursday. So if you don't take psychology and you don't take French, now is your time to begin full focus on getting ready for Wednesday morning. And there's still a lot of time left to focus on improving, but you need to focus your attention on the right things. I am going to focus on a few topics over the next few hours, and I'm going to be sharing them with you on this playlist, and they are going to be based on the advice offered by the examiners from the November 2020 exams. In that exam, the examiners pointed out certain specific issues in paper two of HL and paper two of SL. And I'm going to take each one of them and share a separate video looking at the specific area of concern and looking at the right answer to the question with other relevant information added to help your understanding. So let's move in and take a closer look. And this first question comes from the understandings in topic four. Outline the role of methanogenic archaeans in the cycling of carbon in ecosystems. And the word methanogenic refers to the genesis or the generation of methane gas by archaea, a special type of bacteria. And of course, they play an important role in releasing carbon from organic matter. Of course, it's worth remembering that these methanogens belong to one of the two prokaryotic domains. And here you can see the methanogenic bacteria belong to the group archaea. It's important to bear in mind that both bacterial domains represent a huge diversity of organisms. Even though we can't see bacteria with our eyes, we should not think of all bacteria as just one species. And this is why they're placed into two domains. And here you can see just among the methanogens how much genus diversity there is with this variety of habitats for the methanogenic bacteria. They can be found in swamps, they can be found in the digestive tract of ruminants like cows and horses, and of course the methane gas that is released from their metabolism adds to greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, and methane has a greenhouse warming potential that is 25 times more significant than carbon dioxide. So it's very important that we reflect on sources of methane gas and the habitats that we have that encourage methanogenic bacteria to carry out their activities and release and add greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. One area of concern in particular is cattle farming. In the examination, stating any two of these points would have been sufficient to score the two marks. In our next video, we look at the topic of water transport in plants. And if you have cards enabled, you just need to click on the card above to go straight to that video.